In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a new page. Um, you already know how to set up pages if you've watched my previous videos, but this is going to be a contact page and it's going to have a contact form on it. It's going to look very professional and very nice and it's going to have a CAPTCHA feature, which is an anti-spam feature. You know where you fill in the little letters? Um, that's to fight spam. And this contact form that I'm going to recommend and show you how to set up has that. I'm also going to show you kind of give you an overview of how to sift through the myriad of different plugins out there and pick which one is best for you. Um, there are tips and tricks that I use to kind of filter out the junk plugins and you know find the best ones. So I'll show you how to do that. And so when we're done with today's tutorial you will have an awesome looking new page that has a very professional looking contact form on it. And uh, that's about it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please watch the first five or six videos in this series. I think this is video number seven. So make sure you watch the first six and you, you will be able to create this exact site. And what I'm trying to do as I go through these tutorials is give you more, more than a very specific knowledge of how to create this exact page. I wanna give you a knowledge of how to run WordPress in general so that you have a good understanding of WordPress and how it works so that you can build any kind of website you want. Okay, so go ahead and log into your site go to your dashboard and then hover over plugins and then click on add new. And then I'm going to type in the word contact because I'm looking for a contact form and then I'll click search plugins. Okay. When I do that, there are a lot of results. So which of these contact plugins do I want to use? The way I like to pick plugins, is to look at their reviews and to look at when they've been updated. So let's look at this first one. It's called Contact Details. Go ahead and click on Details right underneath it and this box will come up. And you see right away, warning, this plugin has not been tested with your current version of WordPress, which tells me it's probably kind of old. It was last updated 95 days ago. Already I don't want to use this plugin because it's not being actively updated. So let me look for another one. How about Contact Form Maker? I'm going to click on Details here. And I'm going to look at it. Okay, it was updated seven days ago. Well, that's good. It's got 11 ratings and it's rated four stars. That's also good. And it's been downloaded 30,000 times. That tells me it's pretty popular and people kind of like it. But what does it do? I have to read here to find out what it does. Okay, that one sounds kind of nice. But I'm going to keep looking. Okay, Contact Form Maker, Easy Contact Forms. How about this one? Okay, last updated three days ago, 282,000 downloads and 85 ratings with four stars. This one looks better than the other one. If I'm just looking at star rating, how many ratings it has, and how many times it's been downloaded, and when it's been updated. I'm going to keep looking though, because I already have one in mind. I just wanted you to see how I sift through the myriad of plugins. Uh, the one I want to use though is called... Fast Secure Contact Form. I am using this contact form on other websites and I really like it. So let's look at the details. We can see that this was updated 19 days ago, which is not too long ago, but it's being actively updated. It's been downloaded 3,666,000 times and it's got 1,400 ratings and it gets four and a half stars. That's a lot of ratings and that's a lot of downloads. So obviously, the author of this plugin is doing something right. So let's go ahead and install this plugin. So what I'm going to do now is click install now. Are you sure you want to install this plugin? Okay. So WordPress will install the plugin and then I have to click on activate plugin. And so it tells me here, fast secure contact form, vCita meeting scheduler is active but some settings are missing. I don't really need um, the meeting scheduler so I'm going to click on disable vCita. Okay, so let's get busy customizing our contact form. Scroll down a little bit here and we can see the first option here is which form do we want to use? Form 1, 2, 3, or 4? Well, we can use up to four forms with this plugin. I only need one, so I'm just going to stick with one. We can view it and see what it's going to look like. I'm, I'm happy with that. I may want these boxes a little wider, but I can configure that later. So, Let's scroll down a little bit more to this next box and we can see a welcome introduction. Comments or questions are welcome. Um, I'm going to change that to, I want to hear from you. That's just what people are going to see on your contact form page. Then we scroll down to the next one. And here, this is the name that people are going to see that they're emailing to. I'll say the cool 
web builder and then here's the email address that we want our messages to come to this next box is optional and I'm gonna leave it blank if you want to see what all these boxes are for you can click help over here some web hosts require you to put a custom email from in here and it has to be on the same domain as your website or your email won't send so if your email doesn't send try putting an email address on your domain in here this is another thing you can check if your email isn't sending if you want to see what it's all about click help and it'll tell you okay custom reply to this could be a different email address I'm gonna leave it blank because I'm fine with the email address I have being used I'm gonna leave this as WordPress uh, I'm fine with receiving my email as plain text instead of HTML which causes more problems than it's worth sometimes blind carbon copy email addresses go in here here is the the subject that they're gonna see when they're emailing you and I'll just say contact me and here in this box we can have different subjects how about get help with your site and you have to separate the subjects with a line break so hit enter after each subject general contact ridicule me and send me some love or send me some money how about that people will see a little drop down menu and they can pick the subject they want to pick go ahead and read the rest of these I'm just gonna leave these two checked the way they have it um, set up by default so this next section you can check this box if you want WordPress to automatically send a confirmation email I'm fine with that not happening so I'm not gonna check anything in that section this section is checking to see whether or not Akismet is working to protect your site from spam you can check this and click update options to determine if Akismet is active so I'll go ahead and do that click update options Akismet is enabled and the key is valid because we set up Akismet before in a previous video so the next box is CAPTCHA which is the little letters you have to type in to verify who you really are it helps prevent your inbox from getting flooded with spam so I would definitely recommend enabling CAPTCHA um, I would leave these settings as is scroll to the next box and we're gonna see the fields that are required in your email form like a name field is gonna be required an email field is gonna be required subject field required blah 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 you can change that to not available or not required I like these things set up the way they are so I'm gonna leave them extra fields I'm not gonna worry about right now we can always add extra fields later if we want to so I'm gonna zip past all that and I'm gonna go to meeting scheduler I am not gonna use Vsita because I don't need a meeting scheduler on my site if you need it check it out this will enable your form to redirect so you can click on help here and see what happens if enabled after a user sends a message the web browser will display message sent and then it will redirect to the redirect URL I'm just gonna have it redirect to the home page and then I'm gonna scroll to the next box silent remote sending I'm not gonna use that I don't need anything like that I don't even know what it is I'm gonna ignore it next data export I'm not gonna bother with that okay so I am gonna change one or two things in in here this is how my form looks all this stuff is the style of my form so you're gonna have to learn CSS in order to set this up uh, CSS is fun cool awesome and amazing and I may show you some of that down the road but for today all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and I'm gonna change the input text area field to 70 and then I'm gonna click uh, update options at the top that's gonna make my form a little bit wider which is important to me uh, I thought it was too thin to start with so let's view it there we go everything's a little bit wider now this is how it looked before real thin like this if you're really interested in changing the look of your form I would recommend googling CSS how to and you will learn a lot about this stuff it's it's uh, honestly it's gonna take effort on your part to learn so if you really want to change the look of your contact form you're gonna have to learn some CSS so let's scroll to the next box okay so this next box here uh, you can change the labels for your contact form I'm not gonna bother with that right now so scroll to the next one I can change the tooltips so when I hover over things on my form and a little tooltip pops up I can change that stuff I'm not gonna bother with that either um, I'm fine with what is there by default the next box is for errors uh, you can change the error labels if you want to do that feel free uh, I'm not gonna worry about it next one send a test email you can always send a test email to see if things are working and then check your email and see if you got it 
copy settings. You can copy all the settings from whatever form you have set up to a second form. I'm not going to bother with that. I only have one form. You can back up all the settings in your form. I'm not going to worry about that. And you can also restore a backup from your contact form settings. Obviously, we don't have to worry about any of that stuff. My form is done. I'm set up. I'm happy. But when I go to my site, where's my form? I don't see it. All I have is a home and about us page. Well, I have to create a new page. So I can either go to my dashboard and click on pages and then click on add new. Or I can just go right to the top here, hover over new, and then click on page. And here's a new page for me to create. I'm going to call it contact me. And then I'm going to say, I really want to hear from you. Send me a nice email. I am so very lonely. And then how do I add my form? I'll show you. Okay, remember when we were on our forms options page? Right near the top says usage. Add the short code in a page, post, or text widget. Here's the short code for this form. So we need to add this short code to our page. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Right click, copy, and I'm going to add it in my page. Boom, I'm done. All I'm going to do now is click publish, and I now have a very cool contact form set up on my website. Let's go check it out. I'm going to go to my home page, and here's the new page I just added called contact me. Let's click it and see what it looks like. And there's our form. Looks good. Well, see, look at this. I really want to hear from you. Please send me a nice email. I am so very lonely right now. And then I also added, I want to hear from you in the email form. So I'm going to edit page and I'm going to get rid of all this crap and just leave the email form by itself and then click update. Then I will go back to my site and check out my contact me page again. Okay, that's better. So this is what it's going to look like when people want to email you. So they have to put in their name. Joe Blow, and then they have to put in their email address, subject, get help with your site, general contact, ridicule me, send me some money, I'll click on send me some money. That'll be the subject line that I see when I receive this email, then I type in the email, and then I have to put in this stuff in a box. That's the CAPTCHA code that I was telling you about that helps fight spam. So I have to put in a U745, and then I click submit. And it says, your email has been sent. Thank you. And it redirects me then to my home page. Okay, so let's go ahead and check and see if I got the email. Uh, remember, to check your email, you can go to niftywebsite.com, well, whatever your domain is, .com, forward slash webmail. First thing you have to do is put in your username, which will be your email address, and then the password that you chose when you set up your email. Once you put that information in, this will come up. I showed you how to do this before in a previous video. Uh, let's go ahead and click on round cube. That's my favorite one. We'll check our email, and boom, there's our email. Contact me, send me some money. So my email form is working. Awesome. It's to the cool website builder. Okay, one more thing I wanted to mention. We should be using the same template for each page if we want each page to look the same. Now you'll remember on my home page, I'm using the optional front page template. And that allows me to put these widgets in here in the footer. I am using the same template for the about us page. So I have the widgets in the footer again. On the contact me page, I'm using the default template. So I have the comment box down here at the bottom, which I don't want. I want that to still have the footer that my other two pages had. So how do I fix that? Well, I go to edit page. Then I simply change the template over here on the right to front page template. And then I click update. So now let's go ahead and view our page. Here's our contact me page. And now I have the same footer that I have on both my other pages. So my site looks consistent across pages. We now have a very cool looking website with a home page a custom header, an about us page, and a contact me page. We have learned how to install plugins. We have learned how to install themes. We have learned how to use the footer section and add widgets. We're learning a lot. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you got a lot out of it. I hope you have a very cool looking contact page. Stick around. Next video coming soon.